I'm going to show you how I've managed the zucchinis that we grow in our garden so my family doesn't get sick of it and we can enjoy it all year round. I'm going to show you the two main ways I preserve zucchini so that we can enjoy it for the whole 12 months and I'm going to show you some new ways that you may not have used zucchini so that it's not watery and bland and it's full of flavour. Hi guys, I'm Elisa at Moat Cottage Homesteading, the small space homesteading channel where we homestead in our front yard and backyard. If you're not big on zucchini because you've only had it boiled or steamed, then it's understandable that you'd get sick of it quite easily because it's bland and watery and not much flavour. So the recipes I'm going to show you today are jam-packed full of flavour and that means you're not going to get sick of it and your family's not going to get so sick of it when you're eating it for 12 months of the year. Zucchini usually grows really well here. I grow it in the vegetable garden in mounds and I have two plants per mound. I grow three plants for every two people that enjoy zucchini and that lasts 12 months and that's adult size portions. Of course it's going to depend on how much zucchini you eat in a 12 month period and how many people eat zucchini in your family and how big your zucchinis are and all of that sort of stuff. So it's a trial and error, but definitely grow at least two zucchinis if you're growing zucchinis. This is one of the zucchini mounds and you've got the two zucchinis coming out from there and they've been growing through the summer and now the autumn and they just keep coming forward towards the light and they take up a fair bit of space but they're definitely worth it. So we've still got plenty of zucchinis growing. That's just one plant. That's another plant. The reason I grow zucchinis in a mound like I do with pumpkins is so that they don't get root rot and they are well drained. I try to give them some shade in the summertime because the, the, the heat and the sun is so extreme here and I get better sized zucchinis and they don't get out of control if I give them a bit of shade. I make sure they get regular water and I check on them twice a day so that they are the right size when I want to pick them because if you leave it even a whole day sometimes they can get too big very quickly and if you leave it a whole weekend or a few days you can have great big marrows. So I like to get them at a good size and not too big because they have more flavour if they're this size. When you're growing zucchini, you usually have abundance and you're inundated with it when it's coming in. Now you can enjoy it fresh, of course, but it makes sense to preserve it so that you can enjoy it for the whole year round. My favourite two ways to preserve zucchini is to freeze it in batches in the sizes that I want to be using it in or dehydrating it into chips. Now if you're dehydrating it into chips, that's pretty much how you're going to be enjoying it as chips. But if you're freezing it, then the way you freeze it or the shape that you freeze it depends on what recipe it's going to go in. For me anyway. I'll give my zucchinis a rinse under the tap. I cut the zucchinis ends off, cut it into a manageable size and then pop it on the spiralizer and just spiral it up. I share the leftover parts with the chickens, ducks and even the worms. Or you can just put it in your compost. Choose a container that's the batch size that you will use your zucchini in. And make sure that you don't have any headspace because you don't want ice crystals to form. So the less air space there is, the less room there is for ice crystals. If you're using a Ziploc bag, which is quite possible to do, make sure you squeeze all the air out as much as possible. Label and date your batch so that you can use it in the order that you've grown it in. You'll be doing this every few days if you're growing zucchini. So there's one batch ready for the freezer. Spiralized zucchini is perfect for risottos or you could use it as a replacement to pasta and put pasta toppings on it. The next way I prepare my zucchini for freezing is to grate it up. 
Now when I defrost grated zucchini, I squeeze all the liquid out. I don't have to do that with the spiralized because of the type of dish I'm using it for. But for the grated, I will squeeze all the liquid out and then I'll make a roti. You can peel the zucchini if you want, but when you're growing it yourself, it has so much flavor and there's no chemicals on it. So you may as well just leave the skin on. There's nutrients in that as well. Now squeeze all the air out of your Ziploc bag if you're using Ziploc bags and then seal it up. Label it and that's ready for freezing. To make zucchini chips, all I do is cut them into quarter inch pieces, which is about three millimeters and just slice them up. Now this is better with the smaller zucchinis like this size, because if they're bigger, they will have seeds in the middle and you'll need to cut that out. Now this size is okay. There's a few seeds in the middle, but then they're, they're small and edible at that stage. I space them out on the tray, leaving a little bit of a gap around so that there's good air circulation and airflow. When the zucchini is a little bit bigger, you can cut them in half as well so that they're a better shape for eating. When you're dehydrating, it's a good idea to have all your pieces a similar size so that they dry evenly and you haven't got some that are half dry and some that are not dry. But that's not always practical, especially when you're dehydrating something that is odd shapes like zucchini when you cut it up. So the main thing is, is the thickness is the same and then you may have to take some off sooner than others of the dehydrator that is when they're ready. I'm dehydrating at 49 degrees Celsius, that's about 120 Fahrenheit. And we'll leave it a few hours and then we'll check it. I just need to fill the other machine up so we have plenty of chips going. Heat your cast iron pan up while you're getting the ingredients ready with a dollop of butter and a little bit of olive oil so that the butter doesn't burn. My olive oil is infused with a bit of garlic. Defrost your grated zucchini and squeeze all the moisture out. Break an egg into the zucchini. Oh, double yolker. It didn't even look like a double yolker. And then add in a little bit of corn flour. I have no measurements for this. I'll give you a look at that. So we're mixing that up. This is the base of the recipe. You can add corn, you can add salt and pepper, you can add herbs and spices, whatever you like. This is the base of the rotis. You can add cheese. You can even add canned chicken pieces or canned beef pieces. I'm adding some parmesan cheese. Shape it into balls and pop it on the fry pan. Flip it over when it's cooked on the other side. I like to serve my zucchini rotis with some Greek yogurt and turmeric powder. For the risotto, into a heavy base saucepan, add in some olive oil. To that, add your arborio rice. 
and stir that together so that all the rice is covered with some olive oil. Have it on low heat so that you're not burning the rice because you don't want the rice to get burnt, you just want it to be translucent. Those darker bits are actually garlic because I used the garlic infused olive oil. And that's nearly ready now. My spiralised zucchini is still frozen and I use it like that. And I keep all the moisture in it because that will go into making the risotto. I just plop it in like that. This is my bruschetta topping. Now I've got a video on this so if you'd like to see how to make this, I'll leave the link in the description below. So it's basically chopped up cherry tomatoes, basil and garlic, frozen. Coconut milk. And give that a good mix. You can also add in some fried up onion, corn, even grated carrots works in this. But today I'm keeping it basic so that I'm showing you the basic recipe and you can add to it and mix and match how you would like. This is really the cheat's way of making a risotto. So if you're a real chef, you really shouldn't be watching this because I don't spend the whole time stirring this. At the moment, I'm just defrosting the frozen stuff and then I'll place the lid on and let it cook for a little bit, making sure it's on a really low heat so that it's not going to burn the bottom. This is a good consistency that we've got at the moment for the rice to cook. If it's a bit thick, then you can add some water into the rice. And once the rice is cooked through, it's ready to serve. My routine is to freeze the zucchinis I harvest in the summer when it's really hot and it's too hot for cooking. And then in mid autumn, when the weather's cooled down and it's, it's good to cook in the kitchen, that's when I dehydrate the zucchinis or I make up soups and freeze the soups. I freeze up the grated zucchini in batches for making zucchini bread as well as the rotis. So you make sure you have serving sizes and label them for the appropriate serving sizes that you want them for, for whatever recipe you want to use them for. You can blanch zucchini if you're going to freeze it. I don't bother and I never have a problem with it. And the reason is because it's just too hot. You're doing it every day or every second day because you have so much zucchini coming in. And who has time to be blanching anything, especially when it's 40 something degrees in the kitchen. There's just no way it's going to happen. I would rather get it processed into the freezer so that I can use it when the weather's cooler and have food for my family for the whole year. Let's check the zucchini chips. Okay, so they're still soft, so they're not ready yet. These ones have been on a lot longer. Oh, it's nice and crispy and dry, no moisture left in those. So they're the ones that were cut in half. And they're the round ones. So they, they become a lot thinner and quite brittle. But they'll be perfect if I'm not sticking my finger in them, they'll be lovely. So they're ready to let cool down and store in an airtight container or vacuum seal, or you could just eat them. The zucchini chips are great with basil dip or homemade hummus, and I have videos on both of those recipes and I'll leave the links in the description below so you can see those videos if you wanna check them out. With my fresh zucchini, I also make a lasagna. It's sort of a combination between a cannelloni and a lasagna and it uses zucchini sheets or slices of zucchini instead of the pasta sheets. Let me know if you grow zucchini and if you store it or preserve it for the rest of the year and use it throughout the year. And what's your favorite thing that you do with it? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.